Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Tidal Storm Japanese Pokemon booster box. And this booster box is half the equivalent of the yet to be released Primal Clash English expansion set, which will be released on February 4th of this year. And I'll be opening the other Japanese booster box, which is called the Gaia Volcano in the next week or so. So I'll show a quick 360 view of the artwork on the box, then open the box up. I've opened a couple of different Japanese booster boxes up in the past. And I purchased this box for $34.70 off of eBay. So I'll open it up here. And this set does include Primal cards. I'm hoping to get a Primal Kyogre. So bear with me over here while I get the plastic wrap off. 20 packs inside the box. Five cards in each pack, so a total of 100 cards in this box. A little bit different artwork there. All the packs here. So here is all 20 packs. These are first edition packs in Japanese. So I'll open all 20 in this video. What I'm going to have to do is cut the tops. The Japanese packs are a little bit different than English packs and how to open them up. It's easier just to cut the tops off. There we go. I think I might have cut down deep enough, hopefully. Okay. So I'll start now. I'll try and do the card trick in some of these. There's a card on the back. It looks like two extra cards in each pack that I can set aside. And then it's just changing these two to move the rare to the back. First card here is a Staryu, followed by, looks like a Weedle, then a Seedra, a trainer card, which is a Silent Lab, and the first rare in this video is oh there we go it is an azumarill pretty cool looking card right there a little bit different than the holophil cards in english okay set that aside on to the next pack a lot of old school pokemon in this set Okay, this pack starts off with an electric, followed by a Merrill. Then there is a Corefish. Trainer card is a Dive Ball. And the rare card in the pack is another Hallfoil card, Ludicolo. Like the artwork quite a bit on these cards so far, a little bit different than what I've seen in English. Okay, next pack here. Pack starts off here with another electric. Followed by, I had to take a look and see what the artwork was on this card, is a Sfeel. There's a Chincho. Looks like a Gorbis. And the last card here is a Kingdra. Okay, set those aside. Next pack here. Still awaiting that first ultra rare card out of this box. I'd like to pull a Primal Kyogre Secret Rare. Okay, looks like a Tentacruel to start the pack off. Then, there's a Masquerain. Looks like a Tentacool. Had to take a look and see if that was Tentacruel or Tentacool. Then, there is a Whizcash. Followed by, Holofoil card of... I believe that is Huntail. 
Hunt Hill's not in too many sets out there. Okay, on to the next pack. It's not the greatest of pulls so far, but only 20 packs have actually had, I'd say, I guess, a decent pulls. Average, a couple hollows here and there. Okay, this pack starts off with a Lombre. Next is a Clam Pearl. First time, I believe, this is a colorless Giddy. Another trainer card, which is a Roaring Ocean. Oh, there we go. There's a first ultra rare card. It could be a Kyogre. It is. It is a Kyogre indeed. And it is number 32 out of 70, so it's not a secret rare, but it is a Primal Kyogre. So very nice pull right there. I'd like to get both the secret rare and then this card out of this box. But that's a very nice card right there. Title Storm. It has a set name right there. Definitely set that one aside. That's an excellent pull. On to the next pack. Oh, didn't cut it all the way here. Okay, this pack starts off with a Celio. Then there's a Kakuna. Another colorless type Pokemon, Bibarel. This would be a nice card to get. Well Rain. You can actually get a Waylord EX in this set. That'd be the card I'd be hoping to get too. And then the final card is a trainer card which is a escape rope. Okay, set that pack aside. Next pack here. Okay, so there's a star you. Skitty. Surskit. Whizcash and a hollow foil card of Manaphy. Nice pull right there. Whole card is hollow foil. Reminds me of the Delta Species cards and some of the old school EX sets. Okay, this pack starts off with a Bidoof. There's a Marsh Tomp. Tentacruel. Then there's a Walrein. And finally, another trainer card. This one is an Archie's Trump card. So a couple of packs now without any rare cards in them. Okay, next pack here. Okay, this one starts off with a Mudkip. There's a Lombre. This looks like another Bidoof. Trainer card, which is a Kyogre Spirit Link. And finally, another Holofoil card of a very cool looking Kingdra. It's basically a half full art card, is I believe the technical term for these cards. Pretty cool looking. I don't know value wise how much they're worth yet. I have no more when the English set comes out. Okay, this pack starts off with Phoebus. There's a bee drill. Another half full art card and this is Tentacool. Next is a Swampert and then finally oh there's a second ultra rare card of the box. Oh another Kyogre. Excellent right there. 
and this one is number 31 out of 70. So it's just Kyogre EX, not a secret rare or anything like that, but two great ultra rare pulls so far. And Kyogre I actually prefer over Groudon, so really pumped these pulls so far. Okay, still have quite a few packs left. I'd say we're about halfway through the box. Okay, this pack starts off with a Clam Pearl. Next up, Kakuna. Looks like a Barboach. Trainer card, which is Professor Birch's Observations. And finally, a Ludicolo, half full art card. Pretty good pull so far and hope for one, possibly two more ultra rare cards out of all of the rest of the packs. But very happy with my pulls so far. I'd like to get one secret rare out of the box. Okay, this pack starts off with Tynamo. There is a Celio, Mr. Mime, a half full art of Gorbis. And finally, first energy card of the box, which is a fairy type energy. It's actually a wonder energy card. Thought that was fairy type at first. It's a wonder energy card. Okay, on to the next pack. Oh, didn't cut this one open all the way either. Had a little trouble getting it out of like so. Okay, set those two aside. This pack starts off with another Skitty. There's a Celio, Kakuna, Trainer Card, which is Gardevoir Spirit Link, and finally, a Kingdra. I can show you in this coming pack, but the Japanese cards do not have the same rarity symbols as the English cards do. English has a circle for common, diamond for uncommon, star for rare. These ones actually have the letters. Like on this Beberel card, I can show you it's a common card. It has C down at the bottom right hand corner. Once the camera focuses there. Ooh, I may have gave away an ultra rare back there. I didn't even notice I was looking down there. We'll see at the end. It looks like it is though. Next up, Phoebus, half full art of Electric, there's an Escape Rope, and finally it looks like another Kyogre card. It is, oh wow, a Kyogre full art secret rare. This card is number 72 out of 70, so a Kyogre EX secret rare. This is a full art card. That's three Kyogre pulls out of this box. That's amazing pulls right there. Very nice. So excellent pulls. Okay. Take this out here. Set the two cards aside. Move the rare to the back of the pack. And this pack starts off with a Mudkip. There's a Lotad, Horsey, Delcaddy, and it looks like a Zoomerill. Okay, on to the next pack. All right. First card here is Surskit. Next up is Spinda, followed by a Weedle, Starmie, and a half full art of Gorbis. On to the next pack here. There's about four or five packs left. Just amazing pull so far. I was hoping for that primal full, 
Primal Secret Rare card, but the Kyogre EX Full Art is just as good. Okay, first card here is Barboach. Then there is a Chincho, followed by Horsey, then a Delcaddy, and finally, well that's a nice card right there, half full art of Swampert. Pretty cool looking. And water type Pokemon are my favorite type of Pokemon. So I definitely like this box quite a bit. Really looking forward to Primal Clash. There'll be a few other items released around that same time too. I think there's a De Deancey box coming out as well as a Glade EX box. Okay, so here we have a Crawdont. Nope, my mistake, Corfish. I always get those two confused sometimes. Okay, here is a Bidoof. Then there's a Marsh Tomp. Next up is a Zoomerill. And finally, a Ludicolo, half full art. Okay, two packs left. I'm not really expecting another ultra rare or anything. Three out of the box is pretty good. Okay, first card here is a Lotad, followed by, how did I actually find the Pokemon on this card? Sveal. There's a Tentacool. Trainer card, which is an experience share, and a Holofoil card of Electros. Last pack here in this Tidal Storm Japanese booster box, and I will be opening the Gaia Volcano booster box next week sometime. But last pack here, hoping for an ultra rare, but three ultra rares so far, and all the Pokemon I really wanted out of the set too. Okay, move the rare card potentially to the back of the pack. Last pack, first card in this pack is Tynamo. There's a Seedra. Looks like a Meryl. Lantern. And the final card, not an ultra rare, just a trainer card, which is a fresh water set trainer. So overall, excellent pulls. I can summarize the three ultra rares I pulled in the box. Definitely some great cards though. First one here that I'll show. There's a Kyogre EX. Next one, we'll go right on, is the Kyogre EX Full Art card. And the and this is actually a secret rare in the Japanese set. And the final card here is a Primal Kyogre EX. So overall, excellent pulls. All of the ultra rares that I wanted, I pulled, an exception to that Primal Secret Rare, but I did pull the regular version. So thanks everyone for watching. Make sure before you go to check out all the links in the video description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages, as well as this, taking a look at my Booster Box opening playlist if you want to see the Rising Fist, Phantom Gate, and then the Gaia Volcano Japanese Booster Box openings. So thanks a lot everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.